They grab salvage and run around with it. So we're just not going to screw with them and their salvagey needs. Oh, oh, no! I said I wasn't going to screw with you and your salvagey needs! Leave me alone! What's up guys and welcome to Subnautica and if you've been on the channel for long enough you may remember way back when I started the channel in February of 2015 one of my first long lasting series was on a game called Stranded Deep and that did really well and people really enjoyed it but it ran its course and eventually had to end and people really missed it so then I picked up Ark and Ark did really well and people really enjoyed that series, but the same thing happened. So now I'm hoping for Subnautica to take that place. This is another survival game that is just absolutely crazy. It is beautiful, everything about it. I really can't do it justice by describing it. I just want to get in and start playing, but hopefully it's going to be as well accepted by the community as those other series, because I'm really looking forward to doing a lot in this game. And with that being said, let our adventure begin. I'm fairly certain this game actually has a little bit of story to it, too. Like, it's not fully developed, the game is still in early development, stuff is still being released, but there is some small details of a story present, and you do get a little bit of background as to what is happening, and this, this screen already is telling us a lot. There's a massive ship, there's been holes blown in it, it's going down over this very, very blue planet. This has changed since I played it many, many, many months ago. Oh crap! Oh what? This is completely different. It's like I said, I have played a very, very little bit of this game. But none of this was here when I played it months ago. Okay. Okay, so... We, we just abandoned ship by the- okay! Holy crap. Uh, uh, don't, don't hit me, fire extinguisher! Oh, I said don't hit me. I guess I said fire extinguisher. I should have said something about that panel. Fire extinguisher is going to be our friend by the looks of it. We're, we're going to... Let me go. Let me go. There we go. Okay, do I need to... Oh, I have a, I have a body now. That was also not there when I played last. Um, I could use that. Okay. Um, right mouse. Okay. Nice. Ah, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. No, no. No. Don't want... I don't want any of that. Uh, okay. We're good. We're, we're good, right? I have some very round fingers. Emergency mode. Hello. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is my inventory, this is the stuff that I have equipped, and we have blueprints for different things. There's so much in this game! I, I still have my fire extinguisher, we can get rid of that. Are we... did we land? We're... okay! Yup! We... we landed. Hello! So yeah, the Aurora was a mining vessel which was tasked with, I think, terraforming this planet or something like that, but something went wrong, it crashed, as you can plainly see, and I am what I assume is the only survivor. And as you can see, this planet doesn't have a whole lot of ground. So that's, that's why this is such a cool game. You're on an alien planet with alien creatures and every bit of life is completely different to the stuff you would find on Earth. And it's completely ocean. So the entire game you spend in the water. That is so freaking cool. Look at these guys. Hello. Oh boy, you're some silly looking guys. Are you guys dangerous? I don't think they are. You can kind of get an idea because like they have they have like elephant noses. They have like snouts. So they don't look like predators. They look more like uh like vegetarians. So I think we're going to be okay. Ooh, fish. Ah, whoa, whoa. Okay, you may not be a predator, but you might still poop. Oh, oh ow, oh god, the poop. Okay, we need to get oxygen. We're going to drown. That's a great start. I've been here 30 seconds. I've never been pooped on by the wildlife. I should expect no less. Okay, so we need to survive. That's first and foremost. Like like I said, there's base building. There's all of this stuff that you can do once you've kind of mastered your area. Local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core due to damage sustained during is collision. It, 
Is that bad? Oh, jeez, that's a big piece of the Oro. What's this? Life pod, sea glide fragment. I can't pick this up by the looks of it. Okay, we, we might return to this. I'm gonna drown, I'm gonna drown, I'm gonna drown. Ten seconds of oxygen. I'm I'm trying. Okay. So yeah, like I was trying to say before we were interrupted by my robot friend who I'm gonna have to end up giving a name. Um, we need to survive first and foremost. Like like I said, there is base building, you can't do a ton of stuff in this game. Come here, come here, come here, you little dog, oh, I wanna eat you. Fine and dandy being able to build a base. Oh, gotcha. Uh peep. A peeper. <laughs> He's got a giant eye. Peeper, okay. I keep getting interrupted, but yeah, you can build a base, you can build a ship, you can do all that kind of stuff, but it's no good if you can't eat or drink. We do have a health meter, we do have a food meter, we do have a water meter, we have all that kind of stuff. So we need to be able to get water, get food, all that stuff. What are you? You, you look a little slower. Can I get you? Come here. <laughs> okay, I, I may have deserved to be pooped on by the wildlife because I show up here, I'm just grabbing stuff by the neck and holding it. <laughs> I'm that dick from another planet. So if I remember correctly, the way that this works is I can eat those fish, but because this is a saltwater environment, I will have a bad time. I'll get dehydrated very quickly. Quartz, no. I, so I can manage to, uh, I can cure them, like cooking them almost, but I need salt. So if I could find some salt, that would be great. I still can't pick up these things. Solar panel fragment. Hopefully I get that eventually, because I'm pretty sure that's how you learn. Those are like blueprints. Oh my god, there's just huge pieces of the Aurora dropping all over the place. Oh, damn it, I really need to work on getting more oxygen. I'm gonna- I almost drowned like three times already. What are you? Creature egg. Is- is creature gonna be upset that I took its egg? Let's hope not. Acid mushrooms. Oh wait, I think I can eat these, can't I? Is that salt? Salt! Got there, okay. So I think, okay, you know what, I got enough stuff. I wanna get back to uh, to my pod, back to number five. I need to start naming things. Maybe that's what I'll get you guys to do in between episodes, is I need a name for my life pod and I need a name for uh, the female voice that keeps talking to me. So we're gonna go down here and I think, inventory? Where's, where's my stuff? Can I eat this? Um, I feel like I might be able to eat this. Can I put it on my head? No. Maybe I can't anymore. It's like I said, I did actually make one episode of Subnautica way back when it was first released, like mid-2015, but the game was very poorly optimized. It was really hard to record, and it would skip, and it would uh, lag and stuff like that. And you guys might still see a very, very small amount of that now, but it has been pretty well optimized. So I guess acid mushrooms aren't something that I can use, but medical kit fabricator. No, I don't want that. Life pod system, I need a welder. Oh, so if I get a welder, I can probably fix this place. Multiple errors detected in life pod power systems, circuit test failed, secondary systems offline, gravity anchor offline, life pod hull integrity, okay. Fabricator, here we go, that's what I want, yeah. So this is how the crafting in the game works. So we have personal, we have sustenance, and we have resources. So I want sustenance and I want to, I want to eat something. Yeah, I know I want to eat something, I'm working on it. Cured fish, we can cure a peeper. So now it's gonna take my salt, it's gonna take my peeper, it's gonna give me a cured peeper. How would I cook food? Or can I make, oh, I can use, um, I can use my air sac guy to make water. Because he was full of water. So now we have food and water. So if I, how do I close this? There we go. So if I open this up, I should be able to drink and eat that. Yeah, there we go. So that's survival in a nutshell. You gotta kind of hunt the wildlife and use it to make yourself water and to make yourself food. And I guess I'm gonna heal over time. Maybe I'll need to use a med kit. Oh no, I have a med kit now. Okay, so can I heal myself at all? Uh, treated bandages apply to staunch blood flow and sanitize wounds. Okay, I don't know if that was a waste. That might have been a waste, but we're healthy now. Let's try to stay that way. Nighttime approaches. Ooh, I forgot that there's night in this game. Night is sketchy underwater. So I also have all this titanium that I don't want to carry around with me. So I think what I want to do is make titanium ingots, right? It'll take all of the salvage from uh, the Aurora that I keep picking up and I can use that to make titanium. So now I have three things of titanium. How do I, how, okay. And then I should be able to storage container. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here already. Okay, I have titanium now. I should be able to to toss it all in there and store it. Yeah, and then we can use that later 
to uh, to make whatever we want to make, whether it be um, uh, a ship or a base or all that kind of stuff. That's the basic material. We have flares. Oh, we have water in here. I'll take that. And nutrient blocks. Why, why would I ever need anything else? Uh, reliable underwater light source. Nighttime, might need one of those. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may cause a quantum detonation. Calculating risk assessment. Death by malnourishment, 7%. By physical injury, 11%. By exposure to radioactive crash site materials, 19%. If the drive core is breached, probability of death increases to 65%. Okay. Whatever whatever detonation that just said. Detonation is bad. So the Aurora is gonna explode? That that doesn't sound good, and whoa! That is so cool. Oh man, and there's birds. Or bats. Or something. That is unreal. Oh, I have goosebumps. That is so freaking cool. I love alien planet stuff. I love ocean stuff. I just, I, I know I'm going to love this game. It's reminding me of uh, Majora's Mask. Okay, but we're going to die. We need to not <laughs> admire the scenery. So it said something about radiation. Um, I have equipment. I can get an oxygen tank if I get glass. I can make glass out of sand, fins, I can use silicone, radiation suit. If I get fiber mesh and lead plates, I can make a radiation suit, and that should stop me from uh, catching the death, which is kind of not what I need. So fiber mesh, lead plate. How do I make fiber mesh and lead plate? Well, lead plates take two batteries, and I think I can make batteries out of... Oh my god, this is complicated. Batteries take acid, mushrooms, and copper, so I need to find copper, and then I can make... Oh, where was it? I can make fiber some things, but I can't make the mesh? I need to figure out how to make the mesh. Okay, you know what? We need to go gathering resources because... Oh, can I leave through the bottom? I can. Okay, so I need to gather resources. Hello. Oh, that's... That's a freaky noise. Okay, I need to gather resources. I need to do pretty much everything I can to survive right now. And then I guess we'll worry about the Aurora exploding after I don't starve to death. So I need sand for glass. I need quartz. I need salt. I need copper. And I need mushrooms. I probably have enough mushrooms. Okay, let's go look around. Break limestone. How do I... Okay. Ooh, okay. So if I find these nodes, I can bust them up. And, uh, and get copper out of them. So we are on the hunt for as much copper as we can find, I guess. Which means we need to... These noises are seriously going to give me a conniption. I'm freaking out right now. There's still pieces of the Aurora just blowing up all over the place. There we go. There we go. Give me, give me copper. Copper. Okay, I'll take that. Give me copper. Titanium. Nobody needs titanium. Emergency. Ah, damn oxygen, oxygen man. Who are you? What was that? That, that look. What is that? That thing looks like a really mean dolphin or a very slinky shark. Oh! Oh, I remember these guys now. They, um, they like salvage. They grab salvage and run around with it. So we're just not going to screw with them and their salvagey needs. Oh, oh, no! I said I wasn't going to screw with you and your salvagey needs! Leave me alone! I think I lost him. I think I think I lost him. He saw some salvage and screwed up. Oh my god, this game is already terrifying. And I'm in the safe part of the map right now, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, girl. I know I'm drowning. I'm always drowning. I really need to I need to build a lot of stuff. I need to build it so I can have more oxygen. I need flippers so I can swim faster. I need that radiation suit so I don't die. Oh, I need so much stuff. Warning. Local radiation readings exhibit characteristics. Oh, come on. I, I know. I got it. Quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Advise observing a one kilometer safety range. Okay. One kilometer safety range. How far away am I right now? Could, could you give me the important information? Because I really like to know if I'm about to explode. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to make the radiation suit this episode, but if I can make anything, I'll be pretty happy. Anything that gets me moving forward, because right now I feel like I'm spinning my wheels. I'm just looking for stuff and not 
really finding anything. What are you? You don't, you don't look very nice. I'm, I'm not gonna go in your cave. You have fun. So I can make glass now. So I have glass. What is that gonna help me make? Do I equipment, I make an oxygen tank. Do I need any of that stuff? No, okay, we're gonna make an oxygen tank. We're making progress. If I can stay underwater longer, all the better. So we now have an oxygen tank. Um, I don't, I need lead plates. So to make lead plates, what did I need again? Lead plates need two batteries, okay? So to make two batteries, what did I need again? Uh, batteries, batteries. I think I have enough for two batteries. Right, there's one battery, there's two batteries. Good, because we had the acid mushrooms and the copper ore, and now we can use that to make a lead plate. Cool, okay, so now we have one lead plate out of all of that other stuff that we need. And you know what? I'm gonna congratulate myself by having a nutrient block. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna end this episode of Subnautica here, guys, and I don't really know if we've made a lot of progress or not, but that's one thing about this game that I really don't want to kind of stress. I actually put off playing this game for a long time because it is so daunting and there is so much stuff in it. Every episode you could go see a new biome or a new creature or have something really exciting happen Emergency. or... Seismic readings suggest a quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. Oh. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, um, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, should, 3, should I be inside? Okay, okay. Um. <laughs> Like I was saying, every episode's eventful. Am I, did I just get microwaved? Am I gonna glow in the dark? You got anything else for me, voice? Nothing? Okay. Like I was saying, every episode can be so eventful and so much stuff happens that it's really daunting and I don't want to pressure myself. I want to enjoy this game, I want to take my time, I want to do whatever I can in an episode, and if it ends up being a little bit short than my expectations, I'm not going to stress it. Because I want to make this game about having fun, I want this to be a series that we can really enjoy together for a long time. This is something that I can do for as long as I did Ark, or as long as I did Stranded Deep, that kind of thing. But you guys will have to let me know, because I don't know if this is a game that people enjoy. I've seen a a lot of people enjoy watching this on YouTube. I really enjoy it, but I want to know what you guys think. So be sure to let me know and keep an eye out for another episode of Subnautica where we're hopefully going to not be irradiated. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. This, this is probably going to be my masterpiece. This is going to be my, this is either going to be spectacular or it's going to do nothing. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my God. He's so fast! I can't even keep my eyes on him! Oh! Oh no!